Hello everyone, for my solo story performance, I chose one of my favorite childhood storybooks, The Rainbow Fish, because it's a tale of learning about sharing. I grew up in a family where I had three older siblings, so I learned the skill of sharing pretty early on. The author of my storybook is Marcus Pfister, an award-winning children's author. This year, his book, The Rainbow Fish, turns 25 years old. My personal favorite aspect of the story is the use of the sparkly scales Rainbow Fish has throughout the book. The unique touch of making Rainbow Fish's scales actually sparkle was made possible by the use of foil stamping, a technique Fister learned when he was working in graphic design. The Rainbow Fish was the very first children's book to use hot foil stamping to create such a sparkling foiled effect on each of uh, Rainbow Fish's silver scales. When the first 30,000 books sold out, it was clear that the Rainbow Fish was a success. Rainbow Fish would go on to sell 30 million more books worldwide in over 50 languages. All right. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. A long way out in the deep blue sea lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They're so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset he told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. And they turned away when he would swim by. What good are these dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now, he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured his troubles to a starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef, in a deep cave, you'll find a wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and an octopus emerged from the darkness. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the ocean, but you will know how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, a light touch of a fin, the little blue f with a light touch of a fin, the little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered, only one very small, shiny scale, he thought. Well, maybe I won't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out a small scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much! The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked in his shiny scale among his other blue ones. A rather particular feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. 
The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before Rainbow Fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. <clears throat> the Rainbow Fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home with the other fish. Finally, Rainbow Fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, and yet he felt very happy. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the Rainbow Fish, happy as a splash, and swam off to join his friends. The end. Thank you for listening.